Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Dansky and in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to draw a refresh symbol. So you might see this commonly in browsers or using an app to effectively refresh and reload content. Now this is quite an easy one. We're going to go up here to our tools, select the ellipse tool, left click and hold shift to draw a perfect circle. We're going to then swap the fill and the stroke and just increase the width. Just increase the weight of our stroke a little bit. This can be as thick or as thin as you like. Then we're going to select our pen tool and then go to add anchor point tool. So now we're going to add an anchor point somewhere over here. And then with the direct select tool selected, just drag down in between these two anchor points and then hit delete or backspace. And it should do something like this. Now we can left click and hold on our ellipse tool, select the polygon tool, left click on the artboard, make sure we've got three sides selected, just select any radius and click OK. Swap the fill and the stroke. So there we go, we've got our triangle. Now this can be any uh, height of triangle, but I'm going to use the direct select tool just to select this top point and using the arrow keys, just move it down. So it's a little bit shorter. And then you can now drag this over and then select the rotate tool. And rotate your arrow just so it lines up this part here should effectively be a 90 degree angle. So you can create a square and position it like so. And then you know, so something like that. And then just make sure that it's equal either side. And then you can keep adjusting the width. You can make it thinner or thicker as you like. And if you want to round off the end here as well, you can actually select the circle we created. And just over in the stroke palette, you'll see where it says cap. You can select round cap. You can also make the triangle bigger. So you can select one of these corner points here and hold shift and alt and it will scale it in place. And you can even select the triangle, go to effect, stylize round corners, tick the box, and then round off the corners as much or as little as you like. Now you can keep this editable, of course, but once you're happy, you can select the whole thing, go up to object, expand appearance, so that then uh, finalizes these corners so they're no longer adjustable and then if I do it again it will then complete the circle if in doubt just go to object and expand the appearance one or two times now if I press command Y on the Mac control Y on the PC you'll see you've still got two separate shapes so if I select both of these shapes go over to the Pathfinder palette and then select unite that's the top left one if I go back to preview mode, you can now see that we've created one complete shape. And I'm going to change the color to white. And as always, I have a background that I made earlier. And I can now increase the size. And there we go. We've created a refresh symbol in Adobe Illustrator. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did or it was helpful, let me know by clicking that like button. And I'll see you next time. Take care.